Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geisen from the Villager Cigar Studios. John McTavish. How are you guys doing? Doing well, man. Doing well, man. It's uh, we're, gi- we're giving a little love to Dominican-ish. Yeah. You know, it's been, yeah. a, it's been a hot minute since we've done a Dominican review. True. So speaking of, we are talking about the La Aurora Especiales Corona Gorda. Uh, cigar is six inch by 47 comes out of the La Aurora factory in the Dominican Republic. Uh, rapper is Ecuadorian Cameroon. Binders from the Dominican Republic. The filter is from the Dominican Republic and the United States. That's right. Estados Unidos. Freedom in there. Uh, yeah, it is. Blended by, by Manuel Inoa. Uh, price point is $13 and cigar was released in March of 2022. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? Uh, overall average for me. Uh, I, I thought the start was nice. The first third was nice. It was a nice mix of, mix of like a spicy sweet kind of a thing going on. Uh, but, you know, with Dominican tobacco, there's that note that I really dislike. Sometimes that they give me this construction paper note, burning paper note. I don't like it. And it started all with Allure 2020. To, Allure 2002 is when it all started. You got there, buddy? (laughs) Um, Yeah, and and as the cigar went through, it just kind of had more of that, like, papery note to it. Um, By the way, do you guys get that? Do you know what I'm talking about when I say, like, cigar has this, like, burning paper? paper. Every time I taste it, I think of you, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, you you guys hate it, right? It just completely fucks up the profile. You get it it with Dominican tobacco. (laughs) No. It's terrible. No good. When, when you get it, it's terrible. It's yeah. it's kind of like um, it's kind of like if you're blending with Nicaraguan tobacco, you know how jalapa. If you use too much jalapa, it can just be like it, way too fuck, way too funky on the palate. That's whatever that tobacco is in the Dominican side. It's just it's too much. It's too much. You need no. da- well for me. Hon- Honduran tobacco does it too. Yes. Yeah. Big time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. therefore, you know, overall average. Uh, overall. Yeah, definitely average experience. All right, Seth, what were your thoughts? Uh, listen, everybody knows that I'm going to be, this is the cigar that I love and everyone <laughs> fucking hates it. So it's, I don't know why it is because it was La Roar and it was the the band and it was Ecuadorian Cameroon. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, listen, I was getting some like Chinese, Chinese spice creaminess. There were some almond and some bread qualities in, in the first third it really sucked me in and at that point it's like it can do no wrong um it's been a while since i smoked this let me see yeah i mean it kind of just delivered some of those same qualities throughout but it's just that's to my liking and it it sucked it it's it means it's not going to sell so don't worry about it anyone you can all hate me for loving it but it's not going anywhere so john what's the uh what was the price point 13 dollars yeah yeah, it's way too expensive. No well, one's gonna. You know, it's La Aurora, and they make they make good cigars, like construction wise and packaging wise and consistency and stuff. Uh, I'm with June, of course, because you know we align almost all the time. Um, started out nice, uh, spicy, sweet, little green wood, dry tannic uh, vegetables, um, kind of interesting, some bread sweetness, a few puffs in. So I was like, oh yeah, this is a little Aurora that I really enjoy. Um, and then I just kind of found that um, all that tapered off the second, third, still pleasant, but just um, the baking spices and the bread were, were unbalanced. And um, then the wood became the primary flavor, flavor driver. So I was like, well, that's not all that exciting for me. Um, last third was, uh, again, the baking spices and wood tried to get going out of the hop and then just dry tannic cedar. And as uh, June said, there's, it's kind of like, uh, it's almost like burning cardboard. Like it's just... Um, it's a cellulose and it's just not, it's just it takes away. It's distracting. Um, but the, uh, the burn in the draw are absolutely representative of what a $13 cigar should give you on burn and draw, which is flawless, which is nice, but, uh, overall pretty, pretty average for me. Aaron, you. Yeah. For me, the cigar show with toasted cedar and bold baking spice, um, the baking spice transition to black pepper pretty quickly in the, in that first third. And then the second third saw some dry earth and mustness join in as well as a little bit of wood bitterness. Um, and then the final third saw a vegetable note join in and kind of build up through that final third. Um, Scar Show with an average, you know, basic profile and then kind of added some components as it went along, but it never really grabbed my attention. Um, and it finished on a down note with that vegetable note, you know, really building up in that final third. 
Um, the prelay had me really intrigued uh, for the cigar, but you know, as we know, the that rarely translates into the the smoking experience. So uh, maybe another Vitolo would be up my alley. So I might check that out. Uh, but for now, I'd kind of pass on the Corona Gorda. But um, let's get into the scores. Start at the top with Seth at seven point oh seven. John gave it a six point one zero. June gave it a five point nine five. I gave it a five point one five. So so I thought that seven point oh seven matchup for you. Yeah, listen, I mean, it had, I had really great construction burn throughout. I enjoyed the flavor profile. It was, it was light, um, nothing too much. There was just little complexities here and there. Ecuadorian Cameroon. I think, how many Ecuadorian Cameroons have we? I don't know. That's what I can, one or two. two. We've smoked more Honduran Cameroon than this, I think. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. In, in one year yeah. <laughs> yeah so um so yeah i you know i enjoyed it i i the score may be a little bit higher i i can see myself scoring it lower if i smoked more of these um i would definitely smoke more of them but it's not going to be a cigar i think that reaches to a lot of smokers i don't know if you guys can't get behind it not many people will yeah. all right john 6.1 yeah, it matches up well. You know, we've said this before. Um, average flavor profile with perfect construction, which, you know, I kind of, I, I, I'm kind of getting to a place now where I'm like, you know, you really shouldn't get points for flawless construction with a, you know, post twelve dollar price point because to me that's that's a given. Like it should be a given. You should only have points taken away, but that probably wouldn't be fair. Uh, I would, based on the score, be interested in trying it a different size just to see how it's stacked up. Maybe it's different. Um, but uh, otherwise, the Corona Gorda sides have passed for me. Aaron? Or, uh, yeah. June, 5.95. Yeah, 5.95 is uh, not a good score. Didn't break six. Don't bother. <laughs> Move on. Uh, my 5.15 matches up well. Um, that final third kind of killed it. That vegetal note just kind of came in and then just started building up all the way through that third, kind of put the finish on a down note. Um, otherwise, construction was a fine. It was... A little wavy, maybe a little snug draw, but nothing crazy, but, you know, very good construction. So um, low fives, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, I typically like the La Aurora stuff. So um, I was excited for this. Just didn't didn't quite hit for me. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, they should final... still stick to the cheaper stuff. You like the, I've you said like, this you in like the, the past. time capsule series. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. ones that's like five, six bucks. Those are actually really good. No, yeah. Not even talking about price. They're, they're, they're good. So yeah. Any other final thoughts from you guys on this one? Good smoking time for Corona Gorda. I got uh, two hours, seven minutes out of it. So, you know, at least you know, time. Time. Yeah, thanks for the fluff. Anytime. There you go. That's why they call me the fluffer. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was average, but, you know, I had a really long time smoking it. So uh, it was yeah, just I, extended I, average smoking. I appreciate you taking up all my time having to do this review. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. All right. Wherever you're catching this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, check out the full written review on the website. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Especialis.